Good morning, your fitness first community. Hope you're all okay today. We are live, back doing the upper body dumbbell workout. We tried it last week. Well, I did it last week. I recorded it, did it live, and it failed. It was Friday the 13th. I don't know what happened. It got stuck in a little bit of a pocket. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it again this Friday. Hope for better results, see what happens. <laughs> um, I've got three sets of dumbbells. We're gonna do two rounds. 12 exercises, we're going to do 12 reps of each exercise. So just take it all in your own time, all on your own pace with the weights that you've got. So I've got some big ones, medium ones, small ones. So it's entirely up to you how you do it. Just do it, i say, in your own time, at your own pace. We're doing 12 reps. When I can go heavy, I'll go heavy. Some will be lighter. So we'll just go through there. But let's get warmed up. Morning if you're doing the live, hope you're okay. It's very dark and wet outside this morning. So we're doing it inside. Nice deep breaths, keeping the core engaged at all times. Nice and straight back, head up high. That's it, let's get the shoulders warmed up. So we're not really involving legs today, but we will do to walking on the spot if you can. So if you've only got light dumbbells, you can walk on the spot if you want. And backwards. Excellent stuff. That's it. And open up the chest. Work. A lot of arm work today, so really warm the arms up. Up and over, across the body, and take them up. And down. And down. Good work. Just warming up. Fantastic. And down for the squat, and stretching up. So the first exercise is going to be a shoulder press. So I'm going to be here. I'm just pressing up from the shoulders, nice and straight, not using the legs, like I say, just holding ourselves up with the legs. Nice and strong body though. Keeping the core engaged. And we're gonna warm up the lower back, some nice toe touches. One side to the other. Oh. That's woken up the back. That's it. Good work. And bring the knee up, just stretching across the knee. That's it, twisting around, one side to the other. Fantastic, and we'll finish off with 10 jumping jacks, just to get the heart rate up. Nine and 10, good work. So make sure you've got some water. Like I say, we're gonna be doing 12, uh, 12 reps of each exercise. Different times, I'll go big. Other times, I'll go small. So, I'm going to grab the big ones now. Like I say, shoulder press. So we're here, on the shoulders, and we're going up and down. So I'm going to go big on this one. Go, whatever you've got, depending on your shoulder, if you've got a shoulder injury, if you've got anything like that, you need to just be wary of it. So, not too heavy if you've got any injuries. I'm not even doing it if you've got a too bad injury. But three, two, one, and up, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good work. We are down on our backs. We're going to continue straight with these. So we're down on our backs for a chest press. Dumbbells in your hands here, and you're just going to press up, elbows, fly it out to the side about chest height, and we're going to press for a chest press. So three, two, one, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve, good work, up on your feet, you can if you want, if you've got lighter dumbbells and you want to do more reps, do 15 reps, it's entirely up to you, um, but because I'm going heavy, I'm just going to slow it, and nice and steady, slow everything down, so 
We've got bent over rows now, so your legs are bent over, knees, bum stuck out, and you're pulling the dumbbells in towards your belly button. Nice strong core, so you're coming in here, both hands together. Nice strong core, let's do it. Three, two, one, and in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good work. Fantastic. We're going straight in with bicep curls now. So we're coming up, do one at a time or do both together. I'm going to do both together. Nice strong core. Three, two, one, and up one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Fantastic. Doing five exercises now. So we're going to put them down. No, four exercises, sorry. We're not going to put them down. We're going to pick them, put them down after the fifth one. Pick them back up. We've got the rear delt fly. So we're bum stuck out. Same position we were just in. And we're going out to the side. Nice neutral spine. So back's nice and flat. Everything's in line. Not hunched over. Yeah. Body's back. Core's strong. Really. Going out to the wide. Go. Rear delt fly, so or bent over rear delt fly to be fair. Bring my full name. So twelve reps. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good work, and then we are going down, dropping down the weight right out to the bottom. <coughs> in fact, now we'll go middle. We'll do front raises with the five kilograms, so it's entirely up to you. So bring it up to the front, both arms together. Twelve reps. Three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, four, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good work. Whoa. That's definitely heavy that was. Might go a bit lighter on the next one. <laughs> Got tricep kickbacks. So we're here again, bent over, and we're kicking back. With the triceps again, I'm going to bow back. Bow back. I'm going to go back to the big ones. So heavier weights, both dumbbells together. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Feet shoulder width apart. Two, three. Control movements. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good work. Twelve reps <coughs> every exercise. So we're going to do the lateral raise now. So out and back in. Again, I'm going to go light on this one just because I've got a slight injury still in my shoulder. It's building better, but I don't want to hurt it too much. So we're going to out wide. Three, two, one, and up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
12, good work, fantastic. Put them ones down. I'm going back to the big ones again now. So we're doing a renegade row. So where we're in a plank position, <coughs> you can go from plank from your knees and pull the dumbbell in. Or you can go full dumbbell, full plank, sorry, full dumbbell, and pull up here, either side. So we'll do 16 of these, because it's eight either side. Um, nice strong core, straight back, don't have your bum stuck up in the air. Let's do this. We're almost at the end of round one. We've got three to go after this. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and 16. Good work. We are up on our feet. We've got the hammer curls now. So similar to bicep curls, but we're keeping our arms pointing, knuckles pointing outwards. It's like you pick up a hammer and bang it down. But we're going to do it slow and steady. <sighs> nice, strong core. Let's do this. Three, two, one. And hammer curls. One. Two, three, four, nice control movements, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, 12, fantastic stuff. We're only going to need one in our hands now, one of the big ones, or two small ones pushed together. We're doing an overhead extension, so hands up in the air, and up and down. Again, 12 reps. So elbows together, using the triceps, don't let your elbows go out here. Keep them nice and narrow next to your ears, and then up and down. Three, two, one, nice straight back, elbows in. Do it this way, then you can see yourself in the window to make sure my elbow is on free now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Fantastic. Yeah, if you've got a mirror there, it does help. Keep looking at your elbows, making sure they're not going right out there. So, last exercise on round one, then we'll have a little drink and we're going to round two. So, elbows up high, we're doing a pec deck. So, bring your arms in to meet, but keeping your elbows up high all the time. Keep your core engaged, feet shoulder width apart, elbows up high. Three, two, one, and bring them in. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Fantastic work. We go lighter with them ones just because it's just using the little muscles at the shoulders and. Um, like I say, with his shoulder injury, plus it's hard enough for two kilograms. <laughs> so we've done one round, fantastic work, we're going to go back through with another round. So working ourselves through that again, shake the arms off. Like I say, if you want, and you're only using light weights, you can be walking on the spot while you're pushing shoulder presses. Obviously you're not going to run the floor doing a chest press, but you can. Uh, walk on the spot, get some extra steps if you need to. So I'm going to go back up with a shoulder press. Nice strong core, working the whole body. Last round, like I say, only two rounds on this, just because there are 12 exercises, lots of exercises. So usually we do eight uh, to 10 exercises in a, row, in a row. There's 12, so two rounds is plenty. If you want to go back and do more, you can come back and watch the video again. 
So nice shoulder press, beat shoulder width apart. Three, two, one, and strong core. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, Whoa. I'm down on our backs for a chest press. Whoa. That's a creaky old elbow, that shoulder that was. Whoa. Let's do it. Nice chest press, elbows about chest height. Three, core engaged, two, and one, go. Slow and steady if you're going heavy. You can do it a little bit faster. You can slow it down on the small ones, it doesn't make a difference. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good work. Twelve reps up on our feet. We bent over rows, so we are here. And we're pulling in. Nice strong core. Bum stuck out. Bent over ever so slightly. So three. Two, one, and go on. Bring it into the belly button. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fantastic bicep curl. So bringing the dumbbells around to the side. Facing forward and bringing them up for a bicep curl. Let's do it. Feet shoulder width apart again. Three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straight in with the rear down flies and bend it over again and we're all out to the side using the tri and um, triceps trapezius the big muscles of the back really strengthening the back let's do it three two one and out one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good work. Excellent stuff. When we're in the front raises, I'm going to go back down light again now because that shoulder twins a little bit the first time, so it's not worth hurting yourself. Just do the best you can. That's all we can do. So front raises, we're bringing them up to the front. Just slow everything now, if you're going smaller. Beat shoulder width apart, nice strong core. Three, two, one, and up and down, one. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, oh, slowing you down, still hurts. Nine, they hurt. Ten, still feel it. Eleven. Oh, and twelve, fantastic stuff. So we're back in with the tricep kickbacks. So we're getting the bent over bit, kicking back, involving the triceps at the back of the arm. Uh, let's do this. Three, two, one, and one. We are halfway through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, eleven. 
Well, fantastic stuff. And we're going in the lateral raises now. So straight in, up and out to the side. Again, I'm going small. Nice and slow and steady. We've got five to go. Three, two, one, and go. Two, three, four. Keep going right again. Five, six, seven, eight. Slow and steady. Nine. And ten, eleven, and twelve. Fantastic stuff. Good work. We are down for the renegade row. So plank position, pulling back that elbows into your side. Nice strong core. Let's do it. Three, two, one, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and 16, good work. Fantastic, up on your feet, we're gonna hammer curls now. Our last three exercises, we are almost there. Pulling your hands up at your side. Nice, strong core. Three, two, one, and let's go. So hammer curls, two, three, extensions again keeping your elbows tucked in so you're next to your side of your head up and down again I'm going to face the window so I can see my elbows keeping them tucked in oh, no, I'll be alright I'll do it this way three two one and up one elbows tucked in two nice strong core three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fantastic stuff. One more exercise to go. And we smashed a full body, upper body, a full body, a upper body dumbbell workout. It's not a full body, we're not going to use legs. Upper body dumbbell workout. So nice and high with the elbows, pet decks. Last exercise, three, two, one, and go, one. Bring the elbows to meet, two, nice strong core. Three, go on, last one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, 12, fantastic. Oh, what a great upper body workout, helping you build strength across the chest, the back, the arms, and the core, and the shoulders. Really good workout, that. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me. If you're joining me live, catch up in the replay or watching on YouTube. Gonna do a few little stretches now, and then we are finished. Let you have the rest of your day, and smash the weekend, so. Arms across, nice stretch for the shoulders. Like I say, really good work there. Depending on what sort of weight you use, depending on how hard that was, depending on how many reps you did. 
again, the intensity of it. Uh, we've just completed that. That's just over, just under half an hour upper body workout. That's good. If you want to see, go back and add another round to that by going back and watching this again. It's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. Progression, maybe next time. Do another one. Hands in the small of your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Look up. Nice, strong. Good work. Even though we've not done much legs, if you've been walking the spot, pull your quads through. It's always good to stretch the full body right the way through. Flexibility should be done almost every day. Between five and seven days a week. Just helps the body um, be more supple, flexible, and recover from any workouts you've done. Good work. Hamstring stretch, so flex your foot back towards you, reach down. It's good for your lower back, this one as well. So it goes up your hamstring, into your lower back, on the other side, around there. And to the other side, last little bit. Almost done. And absolutely brilliant. That's an upper body dumbbell workout. Absolutely smash. I'd say thank you for joining me live. Uh, catch you up on a replay or on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, if you can be anything, be kind, be positive and be happy. Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll be back Monday with another great workout.